Greetings, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Skyrim with yours truly, Hillgraf Frost. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. This is this is not Skyrim. It is Tamriel. But no, my friends, we are in Elder Scrolls Online. We have a new face. We're in a new place. But if you are familiar with Hellgraf and you have come to know and love the big belligerent Nord warrior, then hurrah! Fear not, my friends, because he hasn't changed much except for the, uh, well, except for the makeover. He's now a dirty blonde with a shaved head and a braided mustache um, rather than a brunette with a long shaggy beard and hair. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same fella. Now... Here's what we're going to do. I've already gone through the newbie quest. Let's just back up over here and try to get away from all that noise. Lyris is making an awful lot of noise. By the way, that's my friend. She got herself into a bit of a pickle. We're going to try to get her out, right? Right, Prophet? See, she swapped places with the Prophet, and uh, we have to get out of here. We're in oblivion. My soul has been shriven from my body, and we are all here in oblivion, and we must escape. I don't know how I got here. I don't know why I'm here. But let me show you the journal, and we can try to figure it out together. So... Here's where I am. I died, but that was only the beginning. I awoke in oblivion. My body is intact, but my soul has been torn from my body. I must find a way out of this nightmare place to reclaim what was lost to me, or I will be damned for all eternity. The prophet knows of a Daedric anchor we can use to return to Tamriel. We should leave this place. My sentiments, exactly. So why don't we have a chat here with the prophet, because this is the next thing in line, and then we shall continue on with our quest. By the way, if you don't know what ESO is, Elder Scrolls Online, it is essentially Elder Scrolls MMO Online, Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. So it's basically uh, like Skyrim or Oblivion, but with other people. So that could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. We don't know until we play a little bit Wait more and find out. We must not let Lyris' sacrifice be in vain. I agree, but I have some questions. I shall answer what I can, but know that time is short. Fair enough. What exactly are the Daedra trying to do here? The twisted machines of Daedra are used to draw our land of Tamriel closer to Cold Harbor until the two realms merge. It is the evil dream of Molog Bal and his servant Manamako to meld the two realities and make one realm of suffering. Diabolical. <laughs> How do you know, Lyris? Lyris and I walked together once. Long ago, we were captured and condemned to this place just get for that becoming up. entangled in the schemes of Molog Bal, the master of this wretched land. Mm -hmm. More than that, however, I shall not say. It is not yet time. Fair enough, Prophet. What exactly? Oh, we already asked that. All right, well, goodbye for now. Um, but I've got to lead the Prophet out of here. So that is my current charge. Sadly... All I have is this two-handed mace, which is going to have to do, even though we want to find ourselves a two-handed warhammer, just like the old days of Skyrim. Um, all right, let's, let us go. Uh, lots of urns here to be... Uh, uh, but I haven't found much shiny. So, yeah, I did do the, uh, the newbie quest. I was derping around a bunch, so I... Whoa! I just did a forward roll. That was awesome. Um, so we're not going to include that in this video. We're going to start right here where I kind of know what's going on. And I have my controls all set. And I've got the volume levels, I think, squared away. But if not, let me know. Laris, we're coming for you, sister. You just hold tight. She is a, a fine woman. She's actually taller than me. And I'm the, I'm the tallest tallest I could possibly be in my, when I made this character. So she is a woman after my own heart. Although I do miss Lydia, I must say. Lydia from Skyrim. Now that's a woman. And looks like we can make wine. We can make beer. Oh, we'll do some crafting, my friends, in ESO, most likely. Now, there's nothing here on the map that tells me where I need to go other than... Um, uh, let's see. There is a bit of a... Yeah, right there up in the top. Enter the anchor mooring above. I'm thinking that means we've got to jump into this thing. That's the mooring. Let's climb. Can you make this, old man? Follow me. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, here we go. All right. Oh. This is the place. Oh, I don't want to leave her. What? Uh, we're coming back for her. Guaranteed. We'll come back for her. No tall, hot Nords left behind. Wait, have I been here before? Oh, I don't think so. Now, it's odd, see, playing Skyrim with other... Well, not Skyrim, but playing any Elder Scrolls title with other people is going to be weird. 
I don't know how I'm going to react to seeing people. Oh, hello, Crunchy, Crunchy. Whoa. Hey, hey. Are you, are you shooting, old man? Huh. I got this. Nice one. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready for this. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I actually have... What? Who's talking? Who is big? But I doubt you're big enough, my friend. Wait a minute! I have a skill. I wanted to do a skill. <laughs> Slow down, boy! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> hey! Oh, I have a skill point to spend. Uh, we'll have to hold off the... Uh, 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 crunch! Oh, ooh. Okay. I had a skill point. I was going to spend it on camera. Huh. Now, I could do some sort of rolly thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm all out of stamina. Hey, old man. Shoot that staff there. I want to get my skill. Oh, jeez. All right. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my skills? I hope he doesn't kill that guy. Um, it was this one here. It was two-handed. Cleave. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Yes. 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 Uh, 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 over here, you big pony dog. Uh, die. Now, can I stun this? Hmm. Prophet, hold. Hold on, I got to. Mm. <laughs> die, you fiend. Uh, uh, and one more to do it. I can't hit you. Let's switch into first person. There we go. Oh, he's... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're healing me. Thank you. I thought I had a stun here. Ooh. That hurt. Hit him low. High. Hit him where the sun don't shine. Die already. It's tough to, uh, you know, this third person mode, I love to see me swing my uh, hammer around my mace, but man, I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. Iron Greatsword. Uh, well, I'll take the Iron Greatsword, even though I like maces. Let's see. All right, I'm in hammers. This is two handed, though, isn't it? How does that stack up against my maul? A little more damage. Let's check it out. Okay, it'll do. It'll do in a pinch. So, I'm still kind of learning the... Let's see, there's a block move and then a kind of... Uh, like a knock back thing, but it's pretty weak. At least for now. All right. Old man, what do you have to the say now? The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. I see. What is that again? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Very well, I'm ready. Okay, so I did want to take a look at this. Um, I have another attribute... Oh, here he goes. He's doing the ritual. Wait, 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 wait. There, quickly. Man. Connect the sky shard. You know, patience is a virtue there, for Prophet. Connect the sky shard. Yeah, this one right here. But, but wait a minute. There's some shiny. Uh, hold on. Snake slime. I could use some better armor. Goat meat. That's a large trunk, but it's empty. And empty. Hey. Someone's been here. Someone's been looting this. Now, I wonder if other players have been through here or if this is my own instance. I haven't seen anyone yet. Uh, in the newbie area, there were some people running around and it kind of annoyed me when I found empty chests and things. I just wanted to smack somebody. So it should be very interesting if there's PvP. Um, <clears throat> Hellgraph tends to um, not appreciate when people get in his way annoy him so we'll just see how that plays out and if you're not familiar with my Skyrim series and the hell graph and um, how I tend to role play very lightly 
I do tend to get into the role. It just sort of takes over. And it's a lot of fun. It's not for everybody, but hey, if you enjoy it, great. If not, well, there's plenty of other people playing this game differently, so go ahead and watch them instead. Here we go. Oh. Ah! Collect the shark. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time. Akatosh. Your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Baal be denied. Yeah, what he said. Hurry, we must go now. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, just... Okay. Uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. What the... <laughs> what the heck was that? Hey, how come the old man jumped in? He made it out fine. All right, let's try that again, I guess. It says... I'm pressing E, dang you. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, don't jump in. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, first death. Stone Falls, here we come. I think. Vestige awakens once again. Come here. We will speak. He calls me the Vestige. I don't know. It's a little degrading. Ooh, 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 is that mine? Immediate armor increased to three. Yeah, the more you use skills, the better they, they uh, you know, they do increase over time as you use them, which as is I fantastic. Feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. How long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voyage between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, mm. and some charitable soul fished you out and mm. brought you to dry land. All right, and now what? I'm afraid you'll have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molag Ball. Yeah, I agree. So when will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. All right, then. All right, well, enjoy. And uh, we'll see you soon. Now, let's complete the quest. We get a sealed urn. Level 3. It's a rusty urn. Clearly originated in Cold Harbor. It has been tightly sealed. Your name is burned into the side. Container. All right, we got a skill point. Let's Be take it. Wary, vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Baal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Sounds bad, but I'll be fine. Where should I go? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. You think there may be... there are many who need my help. Indeed. I sense that even now there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molog Ball, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. And since this is an MMO, there might be others who would join me in this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. <laughs> wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Sounds epic. Now, how do I find whoever rescued me from the sea? I know only that you washed up on a cold beach on a remote island. You have since been transported to a large city. Head toward the city docks. There you will find someone who knows the island from whence you came and how you might return there. All right, then. I guess I can do that. Um, didn't we already say this? You, yes. Indeed. Indeed. I sense that even now. Okay. 
He tends to repeat himself. He's been cooped up for so long. All right, yeah. Um, so this apparently is the MMO portion of it. And I don't know if you saw that thing flash across the screen really quickly, but well, hello, gold.com, uh, cheapest ESO, gold, a thousand G, only three dollars, power leveling, and so it begins, my friends. ESO online, great. Now backpack. Apparently, I can't pick that up. It just lays there on the floor. I like a backpack. Now, I did get some sort of a... Uh, oh, chow. Oh, bread. Um, some sort of container. Not sure what all this stuff does. But I'll snag it anyway. Oh, I got a trunk and some water. Roasted goat in here. Uh, is this a note? All right, let me just see what we have for inventory. What can I drop and cast off? Inventory space, 37 of 60. Doesn't look like there's any weight. Just a number. Uh, how about armor? Shields. Not much there. All right, I'll go through this another time. But first, let's take a look at the journal here. And I have no quest. So this is the introduction to, hey, go out and quest. There'll be people to help you and people to join and blah, blah, blah. And now we are in Tamriel with other people. We've got plenty of trouble of our own. This is a player. This is a player. Mahit. How tall am I, Mahit? Much taller than you. Huh. Because I did pick the, ch the tallest uh, character. And here comes the uh, looking for group PVE guild softcore schedule. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, don't frighten an old man like that. I'm sorry, Ray Rierick. I'm just gonna stick to the NPCs for a short time. I didn't mean to scare you. Didn't think you were still breathing when they dragged you out of the drink. But oh. here you are, plain Everybody as knows. day. You owe a lot to the crew from Bleak Rock. A shame they didn't find anyone willing to help. Mm-hmm. Help with what? Someone named Rana needs aid on Bleak Rock. She asked for volunteers, but we've got our own problems in Davon's watch. No one signed up. Her boss and Liesel is down by the docks if you want to ask her about it. Or you can stay here. Either choice means danger. All right. I, you know, I'll go talk to Liesel. All right. So first things first. Let's take a look at the skills here. And spend some points. I have two skill points to assign. And I'm not really sure which way we're going to go with um, as far as these, uh, these powers go. It looks like my class, which is a Dragon Knight, can choose Ardent Flame, Draconic Power, or Earthen Heart. And it looks like Earthen Heart may be more of the... Defensive skills, maybe buffs. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to go through these at some point on my own. But this one at least sounds pretty good. Stone Fist, 18 physical damage, knocks down enemy for 3 seconds. I like knocking things down. Let's go with that one, at the very least. Give us a, a nice attack skill that puts enemies on their butts. And then we can pound on them with our hammer or whatever. And that leaves one left. I have two-handed cleave already. Critical charge. A player charges to target and attacks, dealing 22 damage. Always deals crit. <laughs> I'm a very physical player. Let's do that. I like that. And we can probably spend some here in armor later and so forth and so on. I'll take a look at all those. No biggie. Um, now we have... Where did my little thing go. I need a target from my window. Um, I had that little thingy. Okay, it's gone. My hot bar. Where's my hot bar? We have mail. Oh yeah, so I get pets if I want them. And I've already retrieved those with my first character when I was messing around with my um, uh, with my controls and so forth, so uh, I'm not really going to play around with the pet right now. Let's see. Okay. 
So here's the map, and it looks like if I want to do this quest, it's way over here to the northeast in town. We have some shops. All right. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just play around a little bit and uh, look around the map, get familiar with the place, and then we'll go out and do some chop-chop or some bang-bang, uh, depending on what kind of weapons we have. All right, my friends, here we are at the Docks District, and there's the woman I must speak with. It's Lysel, the boatswain. She's down on the shoreline, but we're going to hold off and do that in the next episode, and... That's when we shall continue this epic adventure in Elder Scrolls Online and the story of Hellgraf Frosthammer, uh, currently with Frost Sword. Uh, we'll see how his story unfolds together, and uh, we'll take it one day at a time. But for now, signing out. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. And crunch. You are stubborn. Oof. Nice try, buddy. Can't block that. Oh, no, you don't. Hello. Here, wait a minute. Who are you? I just cook and clean and do whatever it is they ask of me. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Stop it. Stop shooting me. You're tough, are you? Crunch. Oh, an elf. My favorite kind of crunchy. Come on. I'll give you a chance. Oh. Well, not much of a chance. 